In this video, we are going to talk about financial accounting and how it works as an information system for the business. There are uh, you know, three basic sections in this video. Uh, we're going to talk about how the requirement of information in the various forms of businesses increases. Uh, we're going to talk about the stakeholders in a you know company form of business, and then how you know accounting works as an information system. So understand that you know an organization. This is an organization is a function of resources. What do I mean by that? I mean that you know in order to do a business, you need land, labor, capital, you know a lot of things in order to start the business and you don't have all of those resources with you. Therefore, you're going to go out and, you know, ask different people for these resources. For example, you know, one of the first things that you do when you start a business is prepare a project report, go to bank and ask for a loan and bank becomes a stakeholder. And I'm not saying shareholder, it's a stakeholder. Somebody having an interest in your business or claim in your business is a stakeholder. So, uh, the suppliers of all these resources, uh, which I said, land, labor, capital, and the fourth factor of production, as it is said in economics, is the entrepreneur E. So land, you have to buy it from somebody or you lease it. Uh, labor, you recruit people, you need manpower. Capital is money. You either ask people, friends, family uh, to invest or you go to the bank. Uh, for the capital and entrepreneur, the person, you yourself are a resource uh, that you invest in the business. So, uh, as we saw in the previous video uh, as well, I showed you a continuum where I, I said, you know, from sole trader to the company form of business, the resources, the complexity, the information requirement goes up. Uh, using the same analogy, uh, if you have, you know, sole trader at this end of the axis, and you had the company uh, form of business on this side of the axis, your information requirement is, you know, going to go up very significantly. Uh, and that is primarily driven by the fact that there are, you know, more and more resources which you need. And due to these resources, you have to come in touch or you have to contract with the different parties, which are called stakeholders. And therefore, these stakeholders are going to ask you questions. They want to know what are you doing with their resources. And that's where the need for accounting really uh, comes in. Uh, so uh, for you know, any company, you have uh, shareholders or the investors who are interested in knowing how the company is doing financially. Are they going to get their returns or not? Return on investment. That's the interest of these people. You have the creditors or the lenders, the bank. The bank is interested in knowing if you are going to be able to pay the interest and also the principal. And how is bank going to know this? Through financial reporting. You've got board and management. The board and management have the responsibility to run the business. For self-assessment purposes, these people need to know the results of various transactions in the business. So these people are also interested in the financial results of a company. The employees. Employees are very much interested in knowing whether the company is going to stay around or is the company going into insolvency. So they would want to know whether the company is making profit, how much salaries can it afford, what is the time horizon that we can, if, if the company is in the growth trajectory, Am I going to see, you know, better career options in this company uh, or not? So employees are also a significant uh, stakeholder in the business. Then you have government. Government wants to know whether taxes are being paid uh, in accordance with the you know, laws, regulations in the income tax sector or not. Uh, the government also wants to know uh, whether this company is following various rules, regulations, uh, which are required for a specific industry for financial reporting and for many other purposes as defined from time to time. So all these you know, stakeholders have different kind of interest in the business. And finally, public individuals, you and me, we, even if we have not invested money in the business, we buy things from this uh, business. 
and I said in the you know uh, introduction video, it is possible that you buy an electronic item, say for example, a washing machine or a fridge, and these things have warranty of five years, ten years, fifteen years in some cases, and you want to know whether this company, which is giving ten year of warranty, will this company exist in ten years in order to uh, you know discharge its promise of warranty uh, of maintenance. Uh, so, you know, we are interested uh, as consumers because we buy products and we are interested in the uh, use of that product or the money that we are paying to renew our warranties by extended warranty on things. And of course, there can be other uh, issues uh, as well. You know, I would add another uh, stakeholder here, which is society. Society at large is also interested because the company makes use of various you know community resources natural resources the company pollutes the rivers the companies pollute the air they make use of all of them affect the society directly or indirectly in different ways so society also wants to uh, know you know how the business is performing now all these stakeholders what do they need they need information they want to know they want to know whether you know whatever their area of interest is right career taxes returns whatever the area of interest is they want to know how company is doing on all these parameters and all of this is made possible by the use of accounting systems right so that's where the need for accounting comes in uh, the accounting uh, through the process of if you remember again i'm repeating recording classifying summarizing the business transactions we get the final results of results of the transactions in a business which is then analyzed uh, using you know various tools and techniques and then finally interpreted interpreted and converted into information which can be useful for various stakeholders stakeholders right so accounting acts as an information system the whole uh, you know back end which is required for somebody to you know come to this information piece which they are interested in accounting provides all the back end data right so that's how uh, you know accounting is termed as an information system for the stakeholders uh, of a business okay that's it i'll see you in the next video